hey guys and welcome back to another video and today's video is another sims 4 colour block build challenge i love doing the last one so i thought you know what we will do another one please excuse the mess that is my bedroom as it said in my previous video i am moving out so everything is slowly being packed up um so you'll have to excuse excuse the background that is my messy bedroom um i do apologize also i am pre-recording a load of videos because like i say i am moving out and therefore i can't film as easily so all the videos that are coming out over the next few weeks will be pre-recorded for you guys because i want you guys to still have content on my channel so anyway enough of me rambling let's get on with the video so first off let's decide on what color we are going to be doing so i have my wheel decide which i will pop in here for you guys um i have removed the color green because we did green last time and i don't want to do green again so let's see i'm trying to get comfy guys Let's see what we are going to get this time. So drum roll, please. And we have yellow. Really? Like, I don't like the colour yellow at the best of times. Like, I like mustard yellow, and that's about as far as yellow goes. And now I have to do a whole house in the colour yellow and i'm not even sure what yellow items i have because i don't have all the packs guys and i will do it at some point but i don't right now oh this could be an interesting build so we are starting out with this house in willow creek i'm doing this build as a little bit of a fixer upper build because i've always wanted to do a fixer upper build and I am starting out by removing all of the interior walls and the landscaping and the doors and the windows and just basically starting with a shell of the house. Now I was going to extend this bit to create grandma's bedroom quite a way out but I decided on not doing that. And then I wasn't sure whether I was going to put a bathroom downstairs or not and I was like you know what let's put an upstairs to this house. Let's turn it from a bungalow to... A two-story house and then popping in these they're like a creamy beigey yellow stairs um, and creating a little hallway and then I'm just doing a very small little landing hallway upstairs and then I'm doing a bathroom uh, Kali's bedroom who is my young adult and a little study as well and then I'm using these half hipped roofs and this one that I always put on an upstairs um as my roofing i i really like doing this um i had a little bit of trouble like deciding on the roof but i went with this sort of shape going on and then for roof patterns we literally had straw or corrugated metal um and i was like corrugated metal really doesn't fit with willow creek nor does straw but it fits slightly better so I did that and then I realised we had this panelling which is like my all time favourite in this nice yellow shade. I also used a lot from Strangerville in this build so I used columns, windows, doors all from Strangerville because they have these really nice yellowy swatches. Um, so I did that and I love, I actually love a lot of the stuff from Strangerville because Ford's are not like more outrageous colours they have some really nice swatches um so I did that so for stairs again I used the same ones that I used inside and I used stranger feel spandrels and fencing Again, the swatches come really nice and I wanted it to be quite matchy-matchy. Um, maybe Grandma was very particular about her house. And then I really couldn't decide on flooring for the little porch area. Like, the only 
flooring that was half decent was this one without me cheating and using like creamy colours um so I, I did this flooring and yeah I mean I, I don't like it but it works and then I did the windows with the shutters on the ground floor and then these cute little Strangerville windows on the top floor landscaping wise i put in this tree which i've never used before and i am probably going to use more often and then i just surrounded it with some little like bushes and stuff like that didn't really do too much in the way of landscaping because there's not a lot of yellow that looks decent um so yeah So for stairs again I used the same ones that I used inside and I used Stranger Feel spandrels and fencing. Again the swatches come really nice and I wanted it to be quite matchy matchy. Um, maybe grandma was very particular about her house. And then I really couldn't decide on flooring for the little porch area. Like the only flooring that was half decent was this one without me cheating and using like creamy colours um so I, I did this flooring and yeah I mean I, I don't like it but it works and then I did the windows with the shutters on the ground floor and then these cute little Strangerville windows on the top floor landscaping wise i put in this tree which i've never used before and i am probably going to use more often and then i just surrounded it with some little like bushes and stuff like that didn't really do too much in the way of landscaping because there's not a lot of yellow that looks decent um so yeah So, on to the interior, and I used a Strangerville doors again. And I was going to put an archway from the little hallway into the kitchen, but I didn't have one small enough. So, I ended up separating the kitchen and living area. And then you see me going through finding all the tiles that there was for the kitchen, and I ended up going with this one from uh vampires and then i wasn't sure whether it would be cheating to use this creamy yellow carpet i really wasn't sure but i chose to use the creamy yellow carpet anyway because it comes under yellow on the sims um so i thought you know what let's let's just choose it and then wallpapering, I kept it simple and I kept it fairly the same throughout. Um, so, Grandma's room has the little floor, like pale yellow floral, white trimmed wallpaper. And then the kitchen, living and hallway have the same one. So it's like half yellow, half white boarded trim i don't know what they call it um but i actually really like that and then moving on to actually furnishing the kitchen and i had a lot of cc counters and i was like i can't use cc but this could look better with cc but i didn't use them anyway i went for the jungle adventure kitchen set so all of my counters, my stove and my fridge all came from Jungle Adventure. And then I used the uh, dining table from um, Laundry Day. I really like this dining table. I love that it's so big. And then I used chairs from Cats and Dogs. And because this family have a cat called Kiwi, I put a cat post in the kitchen along with her food bowl um so and they're both in yellow swatches as well and then i just added some clutter items so i put in a microwave and then i put in um what else did i put in i put in some flowers on the table and 
some greetings cards uh, I put in quite a lot of clutter in here actually I also put some paintings on the wall and I put in some I put in a notice board as well and then I, I found it really difficult because the only bin I had was a children's bin and it's like this why why give me just a children's bin but I worked with it um, I'm not sure whether they can get through the door with it but we will see later on so yeah oh I also put blinds in the kitchen um, maybe to give a little bit of privacy uh, I put a coffee machine in I put some uh, treats in for the cat uh, put some plants on the wall and um, what else? What else did I do? I don't know. Uh, moving on to the living room and I was going to put a fireplace in but then I decided against it and I put in this little TV unit instead. And then I had these CC sofas that were super cute but they're CC and I couldn't use them. So I used this sofa, I can't remember where it's from, and then the tiny living chair. And then the parenthood table, which I sized down, this cute little rug um, with some plants on it, a bookcase. I also put a cat bed in here, like a pet bed in here, and then some paintings on the wall. And then I put in some floor lights and I don't really do much else to this room. I wanted it quite simple, but uh, also quite cozy as well. And then for the hallway I just put a painting on the wall I didn't really do much uh, yeah so I, I kept it quite simple with the rooms and what have you I maybe could have put more lighting in the living room I feel like it's going to be too dark for them and they might moan but that's something we'll come to at a later date and then it's just on to grandma's room So on to grandma's room and I just put in a simple bed in here. I moved it over to the side a little bit more and then I put in this little dresser from uh, Cats and Dogs. I really like this dresser and just a little plant on the wall and that was it. And then upstairs I did carpet throughout apart from the bathroom and um, the bathroom I use these god awful tiles. I, I wish there were some better swatches for yellow. And then I kept everything from, I think it was cats and dogs. I was going to put a shower in here as well, but then I was like, actually, you know what? The cat needs a litter box. Like, I'm sorry, cat, you need a litter box. So I switched the shower out for a litter box for her. Um, you'll see me do that when I realise about it. But everything else is in this black and like yellowy gold swatch. Um for the bathroom and it's just got a little rug in there and a towel and a mirror that came from tiny living and that's it and then into Kalani's bedroom and I used the wallpaper from the Moschino stuff pack I actually really like this wallpaper and I feel like they went really abstract with everything um, and then I used the get famous um, bed and drawers and I also put a mirror in here and I brought the black back in with the rug um so I did that and yeah I actually really like the bedroom it's, it's quite modern which I feel like fits with a younger person and seeing as Kalani's a young adult it fits a little bit better for her rather than grandma's room which is quite old-fashioned So yeah, and then moving on to the study and I just popped a desk in there. Uh, I did quite this modern desk. Maybe it was Kalani's desk that she brought in with her. With a cute little chair and then, um, what else did I pop in here? I popped a bed in here for the cat to sleep. I also put a laptop in 
and a cute little desk lamp and a little bookcase and I think that's it. I was trying to find a skill building item that I could have put in there. So that's it for this build. I'm going to pop in some screenshots of the um, build itself inside and out and that's it guys please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe all social media will be listed down below for you guys as usual and i shall see you in the next video bye guys